up guys, Aaron Hips here. So today, um, I just completely like lost my train of thought. So alright guys, uh, so uh, I got a bunch of machines in the garage. If you guys don't know what my channel is or you're new and you're watching this video and uh, you're not familiar with my videos, I am 19 years old, I obviously do YouTube, uh, that's part of my job. And I own a bunch of arcades and claw machine arcade locations in restaurants, stores, bowling alleys, stuff like that, all around the state of Michigan. In my garage, I have like a bunch of machines. I even have, I even have, and I know my apartment's dirty, so, so just chill out on the criticism. I have a claw machine right there. So all right guys, so in this video, um, I picked up a new arcade game that I actually don't own. Uh, I might grout, I own cranes, stackers, uh, prize cubes, key masters, claw machines, arcade games, video games, coin machines. You name it, I probably own it, unless it's a pinball machine. Pinball machines are for old people. It's called iCube, and I'm gonna go and show you uh, what it is. It's a, it's a really nice machine, and uh, I'm gonna set the payout rate on it and show you guys how to set the payout rate. Um, these are videos I usually don't make, so if you guys like videos like this, go drop a like and a comment down below. Let's see if we can get this video to 3,000 likes. Please do it, because I'm desperate. All right guys, let's go out and let's uh, set the payout rate on iCube and I'll show you the inside of it and stuff like that, so let's do it. Oh, this sucks. I literally filmed like for five minutes straight explaining about like my <laughs> stuff and I wasn't recording the whole time, so let's do that again. All right guys, so um, it, a lot of people are like, oh, well, whatever. Well, actually no one really ever says anything. I'm just gonna like, if you've ever thought, I, I'm just gonna show you. So, um. Owning arcades and stuff like that and whatnot and machines on locations at restaurants, bowling alleys, laundromats, etc. Your garage is really, uh, you don't have a garage. And uh, I, when I got my own house, I was like, it's going to be so cool. I'm going to be able to put my car in the garage. My car is going to not be able to have to sit outside anymore at my parents' house. And uh, it's going to be great. Well, it, that's not how it works because your garage, as you will see here in one second, gets taken over by claw machines and arcade games really quickly. So I guess before I go on and start showing you guys the payout rate on this machine and how to change it and just screwing around and just showing you the inside, this isn't a video I usually wouldn't film. Like I said, if you uh, want more videos like this, drop a like down below. But I guess I'll just kind of show you what my garage looks like. The machines I have in my garage right now, this is usually what it looks like all the time because that's just what vendor life is. It kind of sucks, like I said, because you have no room to put your car, but the car takes the L. So yeah, guys, uh, so all the machines you're about to see are machines that are either broken, have just been taken off location, I either lost the location and haven't been able to move it onto another location yet, are from one of my arcades, um, have just been replaced with another machine because I felt like replacing it or something like that, or machines I bought off of people because of whatever reason, like, you know, I bought off Craigslist or eBay or just a vendor or something like that. Alright guys, so I guess I'll just do a little tour because I guess you're curious. Uh, so this is a change machine right here. This is an old row. I picked this up for pretty cheap. Uh, this one takes 1, 5, 10s, and 20 dollar bills, uh, which is pretty cool. I know it says only 1s and 5s, but uh, the changer, I messed with the computer inside of it and I, ha I replaced the whole computer inside of it to take 1, 5, 10s, and 20s. Uh, this one's actually going to Dixieland Arcade. Uh, if you guys don't know, I did I make videos of that, that arcade pretty much. So this one's going to Dixieland Arcade, and I'm going to have two change machines there. I'm going to have a change machine that takes 1s and 5s, and ones that takes 1, 5, 10s, and 20s. Uh, because their, their business has been picking up a little bit, so they need another change machine. I guess we'll kind of walk over here. Oh, you want some tires for a car? Uh, over here, I found these in a freaking dumpster, guys. They were dirty, nasty, and disgusting, and I cleaned them all up, made them all look pretty, and uh, now I'm probably going to resell them for about 250 a pop, so not bad. And then over here, you got another old row change machine. I know a lot of people say that these things look like junk or whatever, but they literally are made of steel. Literally. But with that said, no, these actually run forever. Like, I know they look like crap, but they run forever. Let me just open it here. This actually just shows you how durable these are. This one also takes 1s, 5s, 10s, and 20s. This one I just picked up. I don't need a change machine right now for any locations at all, but I know I'm going to need one because I'm always getting arcade locations and stuff like that, and so when I get my next arcade, or not even an arcade, just like maybe like a location with like th three or four machines, I have an extra change machine if I want to put it there. So if you open this up down below, like I said, a lot of people say these things are crap, but honestly, these things will never break. This thing is meant to be outside. I am dead serious. Literally, 
this thing has a wire that runs through it, or a tube that runs through it, to where if any water gets in here, this is all like waterproof, FYI. And if any water gets in it, it just runs down here and runs down to this hole down here and it drains out to the bottom of the machine. It's, it's, it's legit. And you know what's funny? You guys know those really, really nice change machines? Uh, my hand's all sticky. What am I gonna do? Guys, my hand is like all sticky now from touching that. So what do we do? We just, we're just gonna wipe my hand right on my car like that and wash my hand off like that. Well, that didn't work here. Let's try it again. There, okay, that's better. Oh. That machine obviously still needs to be cleaned a little bit. So yeah, guys, like I said, uh, it, it, you know, I have these really nice change machines, like, you know those red ones, those red, I don't know what they're called, they're red, um, and they have the two dollar bill acceptors, they're like 2,000 brand new, and the coin hoppers always mess up on them. This thing I got for super freaking dirt cheap, and never breaks, these things never break. Okay, then over here guys, you have a first generation rainbow crane, uh, this one's actually all ready to go out on location, I have a location for it already, but yeah guys, um, this one is the first generation rainbow crane, hence the gold siding on the side, same thing with the rainbow cranes, this thing has 350,000 plays on it, and, uh, well, never breaks, uh, FYI too, when you're, oh, FYI too, when you have machines in your garage and stuff like that, if anything has locks on it, like obviously, this doesn't have a lock in it right now. This doesn't have a lock in it. I'm still waiting for the locks to come in that I ordered for these. But like this, whenever you do it, keep your keys inside of the lock, no matter what. When your machines are like at your shop or in your garage, I guess, because my shop is kind of a garage right now, always keep your keys inside of your locks so you don't lose them. Because you don't, you don't, you can leave the machines unlocked. I mean, come on, they're in your freaking garage. So yeah, this one's all ready to go out. It's been all tested and stuff like that. Um, so that's cool. And then over here, I actually just picked this guy up. I bought this. Um, this was a deal I couldn't pass up. This is a uh, UFO catcher. As you can see, it kind of needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It's a little bit scratched up, just a little bit dirty. But the price I got it for, I could not pass it up. So this one I actually just got in. Um, I had to, uh, I just kind of threw it in the middle of my garage because obviously there's literally no more room for it. Box. Uh, this one, see, like I said, leave the key in your thing or else you'll lose it. Uh, sliding glass doors, pretty neat. Uh, so this guy is nowhere near ready to go out. I'm gonna try to replace the mech on this because as you can see it's broken. Try to clean these up a little bit or whatever, make it location presentable. Uh, next to it you got a punching bag game. This one's all good. The bag is deflated. I take it out because I had to come. I have to replace the bag on this one uh, or just fill it up with air or whatever. So this one came off location. Uh, over here you got a play until you win ducky claw. Uh, I just bought this one um, What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this one with probably candy or ducks. It's not really meant for ducks I don't know why I said ducks you got iCube. This is the game that we were all talking about for the payout rate uh, I'm gonna not talk about this too much because we're gonna be talking about it for the whole video So I'll come back and demonstrate doing the payout rate on that uh, over here. You got a pinnacle junior This one is probably my favorite crane to run besides these uh Rainbow cranes right there These guys are really cool. Uh, this one. I just bought it's right waiting to go out on location I already put plush in it and stuff so next to this one you got a sugar loaf This is not a rainbow crane. I know they both say sugar loaf on it, um, but this is a sugar loaf uh, Smart crane. This is a smart crane if you look at the gantries. They're two completely different cranes This is a smart you see the gantry right here. Just take a good look at it All right now that you remember that and then if you go in and look at this gantry well great You can't see it if you look, they just look completely different. This one is obviously more closed up, and I think these ones are better made in general. And then if you come back over here, you'll notice see it's just completely different. The big thing too is this is square, not round. Okay, that was random. All right, so yeah, they're, uh, these are both going out to the same location, actually. Uh, see, they both have the gold trimming. These ones will be good on the same location because they already look alike, and they have the gold trimming. I know a lot of people are gonna flame me and say, this looks horrible and old. Well, you know what? I honestly don't think people care when they walk up. All they care about is the Superman that's inside and they want to try to win it. They don't give a crap what the machine looks like. And then next to it is another golden, uh, a uh, shooting star. This one was actually on location, but uh, they actually booted me from the location. I got booted from it. They just didn't want the crane anymore. So I said, alrighty. This thing, this thing I pulled off location because uh, this is all jammed up and I, I just took it off location because I'm just gonna put it back, but I didn't, 
I didn't feel like taking it apart on location. Um, and then you got your sticker vendor and gumball machines. These are trying to find locations for right now. All right guys, so now that I went through and kind of just showed you what I all got or whatever for entertainment, hopefully you guys liked that. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too boring. Uh, we're gonna get inside of iCube here and work on the payout. So let's open this bad boy up right here. Speaker, uh, you have your coin mechanisms right here. Um, this one doesn't work, but this one does, and so that's all that matters. You have your dollar bill acceptor. This is kind of inside. Uh, this is a motor right here. Actually, what's pretty cool about iCube is if you were to shake the machine and one of the prizes were to fall out of these boxes, it doesn't even go to you. What it does is it falls back here into this door, like, see? Apparently, I never knew this, but if you guys remember the beginning of the video, I said, and yeah, so I literally have like 50 of these things. Someone probably shook the machine or something like that, and what they do is if you shake it and they fall and it falls and it, you didn't win it, it comes down here and falls down here to me. Never shake an iCube, guys. Just don't do it. All right, guys, uh, and then in here, this is why you probably all clicked on the video. This is your uh, payout rate system or whatever. So how it works is I know it says today 330 plays and total plays on the machines, 173,000. This is that the top one's broken. It's always said 200 and 330 plays ever since I bought it. So I think that's broken, but the bottom one does work. The bottom display does work. So I'm gonna turn the music off because I think it'll be better for you to hear me. To turn the music off, you just turn this little knob right here, like that. Right, guys, so how do you adjust the payout rate in IQ? It's honestly pretty simple. Actually so simple that I didn't, when I bought this machine, I didn't even need to look at the manual. Like, not only do guys and boys and whatever, like, it's a stereotype. And the stereotype is literally 100% true. It's more of a fact than a stereotype. Girls are like, oh, let's get the directions out and the manuals and let's make sure we're doing this right. No. Guys just cut straight to the chase and just think they can do it themselves. And in this case, it was way faster to just do it myself. It is so simple. What you do is you're going to press menu select, hold it down, and then this is going to pop up. Ready? Watch how easy this is. Sorry about the glare too, by the way, but hopefully it shows. Ready? It's this simple. You're going to, you have your over left and right button. You're going to go right. Oh wait. Oh, excuse me. You have your over and right up and down buttons. You're going to go down one and it shows your, it, you're already at hole one. Look at how easy this is. So right now it's showing us for B. It's showing us for that hole right there. It says B is the payout rate of 1,100. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be like, wow, of course you would wanna make $1,100 before you give out a prize. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure you would wanna make at least double your money for giving out uh, maybe like, you know, a $500 like iPad or something like that. Uh, that's just me. Don't go in the comments and roast me because these arcade games are meant to make money and they're meant to be fun, but they're meant to make money. And there's no way you're gonna make money if these games were skill because if you put five dollars in and win an iPad every try, then what's the point of being in business? Yeah. So uh, B is set to one thousand one hundred, and uh, A is set to one thousand one hundred, which you have A and you have B right there. And then you have then I'm then for the lower level prizes. Uh, all right, guys. So now we're at hole one, um, and I'm going to show you guys how to adjust the payout right now. So. Oh, shut up, Pentacle Crane. That's this crane right here. It's doing a stupid demo sound to try to get people to play it. See, bud, there's no one here to play the machine, so stop doing the demo sounds. So, um, back to normal here. So what you're gonna do is when you want to set the payout, let's say, so right now I'm on hole one, and I know hole one says uh, one in four tries right now, but I'm just doing that because of example. There you go. Hole one is right there with the fidget spinners in it. So we're gonna do is when it, when it hovers over hole one, you're gonna wanna hit this button right here, the uh, multi-select button, and you're gonna click it once. After you click it once, you're gonna scroll up and down. So you can scroll up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll left to right. So if I wanna raise the payout rate, I, if you wanna raise the payout rate, I'm gonna hold it down to the left, and you can hold it down so it goes really, really high. So right now the payout rate's one in 60. As you can see that, it says zero 060 out of one. So if I want to go back down, down to, you know, uh, four or five, you can go down to four or five. Just, well, wait, shoot, that's really high. Now we're at 9,992 uh, credits. So uh, 
you better be giving away a Hawaiian vacation at that point. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, so what we do is we're gonna do this because I wanna try to win for you guys. We're gonna set the payout rate on one and two, every one. And what you're gonna do is press multi-select again, and the bars will disappear. And then you're gonna go to the right, or I mean, excuse me, yeah. Then you're gonna go up and down. You're gonna go down, down, and it's gonna totally, you. It's gonna show you for what and what. So now you're gonna go up and down. So as you can see right here, um, hole one is one and two. Hole two is one in fifty, uh, meaning that I'll probably put uh, ten dollar gift cards in that hole. Uh, usually, I do like to do really low prize levels as the, at the bottom because the you want people to be winning, even though you're not giving out is like as good as prizes. It still shows the machines paying out, which is makes me want people to play. So two is one in fifty. Um, three is one in fifty. Four, four is one in fifty. All right, guys. So I got the machine all closed up. It's all good and going. We're gonna be uh, putting a dollar in here. Dollar per play. One. Oh, give me a play for a quarter for whatever reason. I must have already put seventy-five cents in. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. We're gonna be going for number one, which is right now. And remember, I set the payout to like one and two or one and three, so it will pay out really quick, so you guys can see a win. See, it's not ready. It skipped me. You know the machine will rig you when you hold the button down and you let go and you see the thing deviate a little bit more to the right than it should. When the machine's all skill, you will notice that it will stop and you will miss it like by not even a, a, a quarter inch. One, two, three, four. Let's see. Oh, see how it rigged me there? It skipped just a little bit right there. Okay. Yep, see now it's skill. See how it didn't skip me? But I'm still just a little bit too uh, too off. Alright guys, let's try it again. Oh, man, did I get it? Oh no, I just missed it. See, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, I barely missed that. I'll try this. Ah oh, man, stopped it early again. Oh. See, what it does is... I'll get, I'll get a side view of it. It's the S and you gotta line it up. And when it goes in, if it goes in all the way, it pushes a plunger that pushes this bucket out and the price falls down there. So I'll go get a side view. Oh, that might have it. See, looking from the side, see how the S goes in? There it is, I got it, I got it. Okay, watch it now. Watch the box, ready? There it goes, got my fidget spinners, baby. Right on. Cool thing is this box shakes. See how it's shaking? It shakes like that, so if the prize gets stuck on the box, it kind of shakes it off. Look at that. There you go, baby. Got my fidget spinners. Very cool, guys. Last try, I got those. Over. So yeah, guys, that's about all I really have to say about uh, my IQ. If you guys want more videos on machines like this, showing how to do settings, and just, just going around, drop a like down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.